Hello from Bangalore, India. Thanks for stopping by my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Shauna and this is Backpack on Fire. And this is a special edition of Epic Hostels. So I get asked a lot, how do you pick places to stay? How do you know which hostel to choose? Uh, when looking online, there can be lots of hostels that are rated really well, which if you're in a city with that, then you're probably gonna find a place pretty easily. But trying to decide between a 9.1 and a 9.2, and how will you know which hostel is right for you? So anytime I stumble across a hostel that turns out to be really epic and I have an amazing experience, I'm gonna be doing short videos to highlight those hostels so that you know which ones to choose. So when I'm looking for a hostel, some of the main things I'm looking for is obviously looking at the rating, looking at what other people have to say about it is definitely really important. I'm looking for location. I want to be somewhere that's easily accessible to get to, whether I'm coming in from another city on train or bus or arriving from an airport, and one that's in kind of a cool area, an area that seems to have a lot going on. It'd be really exciting to explore. In addition, big things for me is obviously being able to have a locker and a place to lock up my stuff. I do travel with a lot of tech and I want to make sure my stuff is secure. Anytime there's some like added great bonuses like free breakfast or walking tours or events that are put on, I really like that. Uh, it's my style. I want to be somewhere that's sociable and with hostels that encourage that socialness. So why did I pick to stay at one of the Electric Cats hostels here in Bangalore? Well, the things that drew me to them initially when I was looking at them online was that they had a really detailed write-up of how to get here and how to get here using public transit. And I really appreciated the like time and effort that I could see they were putting into making sure you knew how to get here and how to have a great time here. I also saw a lot of great reviews on their breakfast, which turns out to be one of the best free breakfasts I've seen at a hostel yet. But just seeing those things online, you don't always know what's that gonna turn out like when you get here. And I was super impressed when I arrived here. They have two locations and you get to share the resources at both. And what's really great is I actually got to meet the owner, Stan. He's really involved and all his staff made sure that you were, felt connected and could meet other travelers. Uh, when I first arrived and I was putting stuff in my room, they knew that a bunch of other people were heading out and they actually came up to see if I wanted to join so that I wouldn't miss out and I'd get to meet other people. And I thought that was something really extra and special. They really encourage people to interact, get to know each other, and they facilitate that, which is really great if you're someone like me who technically is an extrovert but can sometimes be a bit shy even when traveling. Uh, so it really helps you make those connections, have some fun, and you'll see in my upcoming Bangalore video of some of the people that I met and got to hang out with and have a great time with even though I was only here for two nights and one day. So let's go check out the hostel and I can show you why it's made the list for me of epic hostels to stay at. Okay, so this is where the bus will drop you off. As you see, there's a bus pulling up right now. It's right at the ICICI bank. And right across the street is the bus stop that you'll take to get to the metro and also where uh, a bus to the airport shows up. So let's go on a little walk and show you how close it is to get to both of the Electric Cats locations. Alright, this is the annex location. You've got your reception reception area in here. There's also uh, a fridge and then two of the dorm rooms and bathrooms. And then you head all the way up to the rooftop. And as you can see, this is the social place to be. You've got some of the electric cats here. Hi! One just had kittens, they're probably hanging out somewhere nearby. Hello! And as you can see, we were hanging out up here last night, so there's remnants of our little party. But what's really great is that regardless of which location you stay at, you get to use the facilities of both. So you'll find people from both the Annex location and the B&B location hanging out, socializing up here in the evenings, or heading out together into the city. All right, let's head back to the bus stop and show you how close the other location is. 
So again, this is where you get dropped off usually on the way in. There's the bus on the other side to head back to the Metro and the airport. And this time we're gonna go down this side road to the B&B location. This is the main entrance and you're greeted by these lovely staff and the owner Stan. So nice here. Hi. 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 <laughs> oh, hi. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> uh, this is the like full reception area and where breakfast is served for both locations. They've also got a list of all the exciting things happening this weekend. I'm kind of sad I'm heading out so soon. Place comes with filtered water. More list of all the things to do. There's free Wi-Fi. And what's really great is lots of places offer free breakfast, but I've never seen a hostel with this many awesome choices for free breakfast. So if you're leaving early, there's a couple options. And then they've got choice with eggs, with the South Indian option, baked beans, cereal, milk, peanut butter and jam. There's just so many things. And then you can also add things for extra rupees. So it's like such a great breakfast, a great way to start your day exploring Bangalore. And then heading upstairs in this location. You got your first floor here with dorm rooms, including the all female dorm. And then on this rooftop, this is a bit more chill one. So there's some yoga mats here for yoga and meditation. This is the non-party rooftop to make sure we're staying nice and quiet for the neighbors. It's a great area to come and relax in. It's a lot quieter because it's off the main street. You've got laundry facilities. You can see I've still got a few things hanging up drying before I check out today. And so again, if you're staying at the annex, you can come do your yoga and meditation here at the B&B location. You get to use facilities of both, which is really great. That way you can decide what one works best for you or where they have availability, but you still get all the same perks. Thank you. 